So yeah, um, I wanted to talk to y'all about this, what I was just thinking about. And I was like, a gun. Okay, so I always think about this and I always make my decision and I don't know. So this whole thing came up because I was thinking about, um, you know, like my temper and how I get angry and how I uh, converse with other adults and all of that different stuff. Um, and I was thinking like if I had a gun when I had the altercation with my fake family, I guess you could call it, um, my god sister, her mom, her sisters, and my god son, right? So, basically, what happens is, um, I'm like, hey, if you got something to say, you want to talk about this, the backstory that went on behind that. You got something to say. You want to talk about this. You know where I live at. You know what I'm saying? So they showed up at my house. At my house. Which is very respectful. You know what I'm saying? They caught me off guard. Because I was already like. Fuck it. It's, it's late. You know what I'm saying? They ain't coming. Because I was ready before. Got the dog. Put the dog up. Went outside. Walked out there. Everybody's staring at me up and down. I'm like. Hello. How you doing? And Samantha was like, uh, yeah, hey, or hello. Um, and then I had a seat on my bench, and they all stood around me, and we started. I was like, uh, hold, hold the fucking phone. This is my house. You came out here. Um, I'm going to start this conversation. You came to get information from me. I'm going to start this conversation. Then we went at it. And then Sabrina had her little moment where she was like, well, I don't need nobody to need me and all of that, blah, 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 blah. Whatever. I just came to clear my name. I just came to clear my name. It was the whole time that they were here. And Samantha was like, well, you, you're calling out the wrong one. Basically, you talking to the wrong one. You're talking to the wrong one. So she kept saying that. So eventually, after me, it's just me and it's all these different people. So I got to answer for every motherfucking body. You know what I'm saying? So as long as they willing to, hey, give me a chance to answer, I got to answer for every motherfucking body. So she kept saying, you're going after the wrong one, you're going after the wrong one. So I'm like, I'm going after the wrong one. What? It was you? You was fucking my baby daddy? You know what I'm saying? Or you was whatever my baby daddy? And Deshaun was like, yes, they used to date a long time ago. I'm like, uh, that is disgusting. Like, Samantha to me is disgusting. She looks dirty. She looks like her coochie stinks. She is not attractive. I remember she had all these millions of gazillions of bumps up and down. Her weight is like she went from being really skinny to extra big, then went back down. So she has all this loose skin. Her titties don't sit up. I don't even know if she has any titties hair she got like this much hair and she's not feminine she's not really girly so she don't keep her hair or nothing done she don't wear makeup and she wear a hook of clothes i guess when she goes out and she just looks stank she just look like her ass stinks you know what i'm saying like nothing about her looks attractive and feminine and like she's a tomboy too you know what i'm saying she just look like her breath stinks she just look like she's a hoe, like she would just suck your dick if you just tell asked her to. And she is, looks stank to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, and I'm like, damn, D lost his standards? You know what I'm saying? Like, my baby daddy lost his standards? Uh, I ain't cutting for that nigga. The reason why I'm cutting y'all off is because you used to fuck with that nigga in any type of way. You know what I'm saying? Like, so basically, I found out that night that all this time, everybody knew that my baby daddy and um, my god sister's mom uh, 
had a relationship or something like going on and I'm like what the fuck hold the fucking phone you know what I'm saying you got your kids around me your grandkids around me I'm the godmother and I'm the sister and I'm all of that but you mean to tell me that I'm the only one who don't know that you was in a relationship with my baby daddy first of all that is fucking disgusting to even think about I hope I never had sex with him after he did that you know what I'm saying ugh you know what I'm saying? And then second of all, like that's 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 disrespectful. Uh you should have kept it real. If you real, if you real about yours, you know what I'm saying? She was so hot that night. She kept jumping at me, running wanting to run at me to fight me and all of this type of stuff. You bitch and all of that, you bitch, you bitch. That's why I'm the one, you bitch, you bitch. How I feel, how how don't you feel stupid, you bitch? What? No, honey, I do not feel stupid. I feel ashamed for you that you made the same mistake somebody else made. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh my gosh, do you know it was girls on his dick when we were together? There's gonna be girls on his dick after we together, but I'm doing me. No, so no, I'm not like booyah. It's like booyah for you, you bitch. Because how can you sit up in somebody's face and be fake with them, smoke with them, blow with them, come to their wedding, come to their house and kick it, eat their food and shit, knowing that you's a motherfucking hoe and you's a traitor and you slept with their baby daddy, their baby mama, whoever. Now, and, and don't say anything, okay? I know you and I haven't always liked each other or whatever, but I'm hanging around you. I think you're a really cool person or whatever. I just want to tell you before it comes back, you know what I'm saying? I fucked your baby daddy before, you know what I'm saying? We're not together. It don't mean nothing. He's nothing, nothing. I just want to let you know. Um, I don't feel like I owed you that before because you and I wasn't, you know what I'm saying? But I do want to be woman enough to let you know that I do be seeing your kid's father. This is what he's saying. I do want to let you know that we had a little thing going on back in the day. You know what I'm saying? That's woman. How can you have, that's having integrity. You feel me? Like, that is having integrity about yourself. Like, I know there's a friend that if I was to ever, I mean, the chances are nah, but if I was to ever rekindle a relationship with this friend, I would be like, hey, I got something I need to tell you. It's old news, but you know I'm real. I'm a gangster. I got to keep it real with you. I'm in your face laughing, and I just got to keep it real. Now, after you and you, you know how I met him before you? Okay, yeah. And then y'all had y'all thing, but it didn't quite work out. So then he came back chill with me because we was just chilling. It was nothing. He was just strictly my brother. You know what I'm saying? Well, yeah, he he put it down. Yeah, I see what you talk about, girl. Yeah, he, yeah, he got that. I would have to. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's just all about keeping it. Or did you forget about that? Obviously, you did not forget about that because you had that in your head the whole time you was on my on your way to my motherfucking house, honey. You should have been the one to keep it real. You know what I'm saying? And that's that. And then as far as the, uh, the whole backstory, uh, I don't even want to get into that because it was tasteless and... It didn't end up nowhere, but even worse, it ended up worse. Like, I picked that a scab and I opened that whole shit up, honey. You know what I'm saying? And I, I just had to be real about it. I just had to be real. Just like I'm saying like that I would want her to be real and come to me and tell me the deal. I had to come and, and keep it real. I had to keep it gangster because... Ain't no other way to live but real. And then you get to eliminate sorry ass people out of your life. You know what I'm saying? So what's the name of this video? Keep it gangster? Let's just keep it real, bitch, please. I don't know. I don't even know, y'all. Um, I just feel really good. I don't know why. Because I'm real. I'm authentic. I'm me. I'm Kiana.